check the logs to see if the access. What is going on, everybody? Okay, so I have been messing around with a build that I find just absolutely tremendous, absolutely stunning in the way of output DPS, and that doesn't heavily rely on skills. This is really overall a very good a out DPS output build that I have in conjunction with wanting to call Striker 2.0 for the Division 2. Um, if you're part of the Division 1 uh, community, you will know that the Striker was the most uh, fluential DPS uh, build that you could possibly have in the Division. Like, it was absolutely insane. And I just recently started playing the Division 1 again, doing all the legendaries with that build, and just because of the amount of damage that it had dealt. But with this one, it's... I want to say it's on par. It's not Striker. It definitely does not appear to be Striker, but it's definitely Striker 2.0 just because of the amount of damage that you are able to output significantly with the setup. So without further ado, you know, let's get right into the build. And if you enjoyed this video, definitely leave a like for a thumbs up. It really helps. And definitely subscribe to my channel if you're new here. If you like the quantity and the quality that I'm putting out with the Division 2, you just let me know. Really trying to hit that 1,000 sub count. So definitely hit the like button. Like are appreciated subscribers are respected so you know let's get right into this build so right now we're running the demolitionist build okay and as you can see signature signature damage is uh almost over a million uh damage 1,251,000.3k uh, it's absolutely insane okay so for the assault rifle that we're running we're running pyromaniac and the damage for this is 20 0.4k perfectly ignited deal plus 40% weapon damage to burning enemies after two kills applies burning to the next enemy you hit. I recommend if you're if you have a pyromaniac or if you have any other type of assault rifle, uh, definitely go for the added 10% rate of fire. It will definitely help putting output that DPS that you currently have. Uh, the mods I currently have on it are the 8% damage to elites, added 20 plus rounds, and negative 10% reload speed, 10% accuracy, and then the 5% damage to elites. Next, we are running the Merciless. We're running the Merciless because of the brutality. While holster landing a shot has a 5% chance to deal 100% 100 damage as explosive damage. So along with this and with the added 25% uh, you get from this uh, demolitionist uh, specialization, uh, you are absolutely annihilating elites, the whole heroics. It's absolutely insane. Next, we're running X45. Running X45 because of the end rhythm while equipped enemy kills have a 5% chance to refresh active skill cooldowns. Can occur once every 60 seconds. Um, so with this, like I said before, this build is not entirely revolved around your skills since it's more of a DPS rather than a skill build. And hang with me because you'll see why here in a second. So now for the gear. Right now we're running Punch Drunk, Douglas and Harding, uh, named gear uh, with 50% damage to elites, Perfect concussion, headshots grant, plus 20% headshot damage for two seconds, 5% with five seconds with marksman rifles. Uh, with the pyromaniac and the stability of the pyromaniac, you're constantly landing headshots. So it's constantly refreshing. So you're gonna have that constant added 20% headshot damage. On this, we're also running 318 plus skill power, and then we have the 5% accuracy, which helps land our headshots to get that 20% headshot damage. Next, we're running Pristine Example, Araldi Holdings, 39.5k armor, added 10% accuracy. So in all in all, you're running the 15% accuracy with just those two pieces already. We have 15% weapon damage, 852 skill power, perfect vigilance, gain 30% weapon damage, taking damage disables this buff for four seconds. And then off for the mods, we're running Offensive, Dexterity, 1% Weapon Damage, 4.5% Weapon Handling, 1% Damage to Armor, Defensive Protocol, added 8,000 Health, 650 Armor Regeneration, and 2% Extra Incoming Healing. Now, you're probably wondering, why aren't you running Berserk? Well, the problem with Berserk is that you're only getting 50% where you can get an added 30% Weapon Damage to this chest. Now... It's all in all good. Berserk does outperform the pristine example by far. But this, as you can tell by the armor and the health, as soon as you lose your all your armor with the ferocious calm, you're not gonna you're not gonna survive very greatly. And then you're gonna constantly you're gonna lose that berserk proc. As soon as you put healing on, as soon as you put your armor or use a uh, armor to regain your health and everything, you're going to lose that immediately. So the goal is, while you're in cover, is to keep 
your added 30% weapon damage. So you could definitely try running Berserk. I've tried running Berserk with this. It just did not perform as well as the pristine example. Next, we're running the Father Holster, the Fenris Group AB. This one has an added 645 skill power with an added 10.5% critical hit damage, hard hitting, added 25% damage to elites, and then you have the added 10% assault rifle damage. Uh, you could definitely use something else. Um, I recommend using maybe an Araldi Holdings Holster. Um, if you want more health, you could definitely use more health. Um, but other than that, that's all I can really say. If you're trying not to run gear sets, if you don't have access to the gear sets, this is definitely a piece that you should have. Next, we have the strategic alignment, the China Light Industries. Uh, two piece, added 10% explosive damage, added 10% shotgun damage. You have added 426 skill power and added 10% weapon damage, and then added 2.5% critical hit chance. Perfect spark, damaging enemies with skills or explosives, grant added 20% weapon damage for 15 seconds. And then we've got the added 25% health. Uh, the mod slot that we're running is utility systems, assist, 119 skill power, 2.5% explosive damage, and then 2% burn damage. So with this, uh, at a 10% weapon damage, you could definitely find the weapon damage from the Neraldi Holdings or an Alps uh, Industry, Alps Summit uh, armaments, and you can find your we high weapon damage there. So if you're looking for a high weapon damage, those two gear sets are probably most likely going to be what's going to help you. Um, perfect Spark, having your Merciless equipped procs the Perfect Spark. So using this and then add 20% weapon damage for 15 seconds constantly resets it. So it's a, it's very good. I love this uh, I love this backpack. It's just been beneficial. Next we've got the contractor's gloves, the Petrov Defense Group, add 10% LMG damage. So if you really wanted to, you could run your LMG doing massive amounts of damage. And I'll show you the LMG that I highly recommend. Uh, but let's get to it. Add a 3% shotgun damage, add a 13% assault rifle damage, and then add a 6,091 health. Perfect terminate. Depleting an enemy's armor grants 40% skill damage for 15 seconds. Kills refresh this. So you could run uh, something else. You could try running um, compensated, but then you're not going to be running a high DPS build. You're going to be running you know, more defense than DPS. Um, other than that, there's really not much that in the way of doing as much damage as you possibly could with this build. So the gloves are on you. You figure out what it is that you want to use. I use Perfect Terminate because I do have my Seeker Mines. I, I do roll my Seeker Mines, and it they just come in handy. This whole thing just comes in handy. It synergizes really well. Lastly, we've got the second part of the Eternal Light Industries Corporation. Added 21,000 health modified, and then it added 40% explosive damage. Uh, next, we've got the Offensive Protocol Precision at an added weapon damage of 5.5%, half, half, half a percent, sorry, 3.5% headshot damage, and then 3% optimal range. Next, we are running for skills. We're running Defender Drone. And then with the Defender Drone, you know, we've got the 77.2% skill haste, 45.6% skill haste, and the 75% duration. Uh, if you're this build and this defender drone work really well because all in all it just gives you that you know the 80 percent damage reduction helps tremendously and then we also have our seeker minds you can run a healing if you really wanted to you can run the healing uh, seeker minds behind you it's totally up to you i use this because there's just so many mobs in uh, heroic missions um so i would definitely recommend you try using the this seeker cluster mine but other than that i mean you can you know run with it what you will, and so I wanted. Let's go back quickly to the weapons. Now with the weapons, uh, like I said, you can run an LMG and just do absolute amount of damage. Like right here, I have the Black Market AKM. You know, I haven't tested it with this build with that, but I have tested it with Black Friday. Now with Black Friday, I've got twenty nine thousand damage, and then an RPM of six oh five and then a mag of hundred. With the Black Friday, I've got perfectly unhinged, received 25% weapon damage at the cost of minus 25% weapon handling. And then I've got the added 10% rate of fire for Allegra. And then overlap while holster gain added 5% weapon handling. So technically you're only doing negative 20% weapon handling if you have overlap. Black Friday is a absolute beast of an uh, LMG. The problem with it though is if you don't want to go into the dark zone, this is the only place where you're going to find Black Friday is in the dark zone. You can't find it out into the uh, light zone in the Washington, D.C., in the world. 
So that's the caveat, you know. If you really want Black Friday, head over to the Dark Zone, farm for it. If you don't want it, you know, it doesn't really do much. I mean, it's up to you. You know, Perfectly Unhinged is actually tremendous. It does so much damage, like over 100K. It's absolutely insane with this build. Um, but other than that, guys, I that's all I have regarding this build. I really hope you enjoy the footage from before we started this build. I mean, you saw I was just melting the heavies. I was melting the veterans, melting the named enemies. Like, it was absolute beast. Um, punch drunk, added 20% with a 50% damage to elites. Perfect concussion, does tremendous because you have that stability, you have that accuracy by using Pyromaniac. Um, I'll show you the stats on this. I'm really proud of this build, so I really hope you take it into account. We got the weapon damage of 20,448, um, 25% accuracy. We've got all weapon damage bonus of 26.5%, 38% assault ri of rifle percent damage bonus, and 88% damage to elites, 1% armor damage, 29% health damage, 77.5% explosive damage. I mean... This literally is a beast of a build. Um, again, dubbing it Striker 2.0. It's definitely not Striker. I love Striker. Striker, Striker was my go-to build in the division, especially for soloing heroics. But I highly recommend you try this build out. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Did you try this build out? If you did, what did you think of it? What did you tweak? Definitely let me know. Um, I greatly appreciate the support on this channel. I'm definitely getting noticed. My numbers keep climbing daily, so it's very great. I love making this content. So all in all, guys, I wish you the best week. I wish you happy holidays uh, for all my U.S. folks. Happy Thanksgiving this week. Everyone be safe out there, and I will catch you around next time. Take care.